citizen runner I'm, I'm just <laughs> no disrespect to your citizens that can run but if you can imagine i kind of want to take it easy and this shoe does not let you it really doesn't the invincible 2 lets you but this one doesn't now as for the pegasus next nature the pegasus next nature a lot of people said that the midsole foam was not um was inconsistent and the app uh, it was very inconsistent i did not find that to be the case in this one i've never had a problem with this one i run um but anyway let me, let's go through the details um the heel as you can see it's it's probably the softest of the four i like I, I mentioned the reason why i like this one i was talking about the fly five whenever i land on it it enables me to move to my next step i did not have a problem with the tongue even though it's a gutted tongue and all that stuff there was no wrinkling or anything that will cause discomfort the lacing system even though it does not go as far down i found it to be just adequate um it does not have that extra hole so you cannot make a runner's knot i did not find it to be a problem um i, did, I really did not find it to be a problem even though it's probably the one of this four that i put the last miles on it's not because i did not like the shoe it's just because honestly i had better options um, for all of them, they are about the same price. Which would I buy if I had an option? Truth be told, drum roll please. I'll get this guy first, the Fly 5, before I got any of the other four. The Fly 5 is very versatile. You can take it through anything. Uh, the thing with the Invincible and the Glycerin is you can go, you can go any amount of distance in them, but since you're propelling yourself you kind of your energy kind of wanes a little that was a big fly <laughs> your energy kind of wanes your, your your energy may change but with this your foot stays fresh for a longer run it's not that you get tired in the others i'm just saying of all the four that do marvelous work it does extra marvelous work how about that now and then because of this build i would pick the the invincible over the glycerin uh, the glycerin before the next nature uh, that would be the order of shoes if i was to purchase a pair today now let me do if i was to purchase a pair today uh i hope this was helpful to someone uh the brooks glycerin is a wonderful shoe the foam is amazing when it comes to responsiveness man. like i said with the fly five once i got used to it i i it changed it I got, I got used to running in it with the brooks even if i wore it today after not after not running in it in a long time i know what it would give me it would definitely give me better propulsion than this guy no question no question even though i really like the way i think the propul wait hmm. i think the propulsion advantage that this one has is really from the wide base and uh, but this is so responsive i mean it's really tough between these two i mean I, in my humble opinion if either one either one that you pick i would say just go based on price the propulsion in this one is amazing i still i still remember the runs in it and they were they were awesome i enjoyed my runs in these in this shoe um so much so that now that i'm saying that now that i'm thinking about it this is <laughs> it's very responsive i think maybe because of the drop in the in the in the forefoot maybe that's the reason why i feel more propulsive in this one more propulsion in this one but oh man i tell you i would say if you like this this would work too i would go for price at that point i find this to be propulsive i find this to be propulsive very responsive um of course this guy like i say i would take it as a daily trainer i i, I wouldn't do anything too hard or too too difficult in it to be totally honest i just go for i just keep it to a simple run uh with the next nature now which one is more propulsive in my humble opinion my humble opinion more propulsive more responsive man this is a tough one and some people might not like might, might not agree i find this guy to be more propulsive more responsive that's just me um god but folks understand this is a marvelous shoe it's it's a matter and for me it's it, because of the guide rails this is a this is man all right let me just do a second take on this so if i was to compare these two i would definitely say when it comes to responsiveness propulsiveness I probably would go with this guy and i don't know why i just think it's me i don't know why i really don't understand why um i just find it to be more propulsive 
That's that's the reason why. I don't. I but I, usually with a pair of shoes, you can say maybe it's the drop. You can say maybe it's the foam or, or the AirPods or something. I really cannot put my finger on why. Um, I hate that I have to make a choice between the two because truth be told, both of them are amazing. It's just ever since I got this, I've run in this almost every day. Um, I haven't run in this in a while. Maybe I'll no, I will take it out in the morning and see how it feels. Last run in these shoes before I send them off to a to someone who says he was interested in them. So yeah, yeah. Tomorrow's my last run in these shoes. I I I don't feel like I should hold on to shoes that I'm not I don't run in. So I'm going to send this shoe off to someone else. Um, yeah, yeah. I love the shoe though. It's a wonderful shoe. Uh, I don't know what it is that's more propulsive. I don't know why this one feels more propulsive than this. Anyway, I tried I tried to clean that up. I just couldn't. <laughs> so, Wayne the Invincible 3. 12.9 ounces. The next nature... 11.0 ounces the fly 5 plated shoe 12.4 ounces the glycerin 20 13.2 ounces so it's the heaviest of all four of them uh, I'll take it out for one more run and pretty much come back on the uh, propulsiveness. Uh, it'd be strange because I'll might, I'll be wearing something different for sure. As you can see, it's hot as I don't want to say the B word. It's hot as it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot out here. So um, yeah, I'll take it out for a run either tonight or tomorrow, and I'll I'll pretty much say my final verdict on the propulsiveness. Um, but oh man. You can see how torn I am. Like I said, truth be told, if you gave me an option of the Glycerin or the Invincible, I'll just go based on price. Whichever one's cheaper at the time. Uh, why did I say... Uh, I love the cushioning. I really love the cushioning. I love that one's propulsiveness. It's not as... You don't sink as much into that guy as this guy. Like I said, when you land on the heel of the Invincible, it's almost like it does not let you sink as much, but then it lets you go to the next step. The Glycerin, you, act, you can actually sink, and as you start to move forward, it actually just pushes you off it's a wonderful shoe man uh i don't think you can go wrong on either one